Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, implement Game Center for creating a leaderboard for your high scores. Um, I'll show that in Swift first, since that is um, the current tutorial series that I've been implementing on YouTube is in Swift. And, but I'll also at the end show you, um, and I'll share the code for both Swift and Objective-C. Because uh, I know a lot of people still have Objective-C projects and they'd like to uh, use Game Center in that. All right, so let's just go over in Swift then. So we have our, um, all right, so I created a few buttons. One that's going to save the high score. All right, be very literal with our naming of our buttons. And the other one's going to show Game Center. Okay, um, so let's go ahead. We'll create our IB actions. I have a little spot here that I kind of designated for this, and we'll make these actions. And so show high score, connect. And I'm going to hold down the control key and drag over, uh, select action, and show. Oh, Show Game Center. All right, so we have our two IB actions. Uh, and we can pretty much at this point get out of the storyboard. And we're going to go into our view controller. So a couple things. We need to um, import Game Kit, which um, allows us to use Game Center. And just so you see this, I actually... Um, hit the plus sign here under frameworks and libraries and add it the game kit framework so I have that there as well um, oh, I want to go into view controller so then we also need to add our game kit delegate controller so that's game, um, GK game center controller delegate hit enter and it's giving us an error because it needs to have a few um, delegate methods to complete it um, I'm going to first, though, create a, create a couple variables that I'm going to use with my uh, delegates. Um, one to see if uh, Game Center was enabled, and the other one I'm going to use to eventually store our leaderboard ID, which we will create momentarily in, um, in iTunes Connect. All right, so... Let's go ahead and I'm first going to give the actual del. I have this code here, which I, of course, will share with you. Um, these are our two delegate methods that we're going to need. So I'm going to copy them and then we'll quickly go over what they do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cruise on down here and paste them in there. And so this method here is our. Game Center view controller did finish. So when the um, view when the view controller for the Game Center when that screen comes up, um, this allows us to hit the done button and for it to be removed. Okay, so that's really all that's doing. We never need to call it. It's just kind of a um, needed method. Um, this one we will actually call from our view did load, and this basically um, checks to see if the uh, current user is logged into Game Center. Um, if he is, then it will show the welcome message and we're saving that to this uh, Boolean variable so we can keep track of whether they are. Um, and if not though, we'll uh, kind of just dismiss um, dismiss them there. Um, I, actually, I'm sorry, if not, it will actually ask them to log in. It will show that um, uh, login screen for Game Center. And then the last option though is if they uh, just don't have it enabled at all on their device, um, then we'll just kind of dismiss it there. Okay? Um, so that got rid of our errors uh, implementing them. So our show high score. Here's what I'm going to do. So we have this already in the last couple of videos. Actually, the last video we implemented an array that's called My Cards One that keeps track of the cards that you want uh, in the game of war. And so basically, the high score is going to be equal to how many cards we have in that array. 
And so that's why we do my cards one dot count. That gives us the size of the array. And so we're going to save that in this high score variable of type int. Um, like I said before, we're going to get a leaderboard ID from iTunes Connect momentarily. And then we uh, use these uh, kind of built-in uh, variables, leaderboard identifier, um, to save that score to um, Game Center. That's what the rest of this does. And if there's an error, we actually uh, create an error log. If not, um, we print to the screen that the score was submitted. Okay. Um, so that is the code for uh, saving the high score. And let me get the code for showing Game Center. It's right here. Paste that in there. And so this code here kind of generates uh, what's needed for showing Game Center. Again, a critical part is the leaderboard ID, which we will um, grab in a second. So that's all the code that we're going to need to uh, create the leaderboard. Um, submit your high score and then view the leaderboard. Move. All right, so I brought up my iTunes Connect. Um, I probably should have stated this at the beginning, but you really can't do anything with Game Center unless you have a developer account. So you will need to fork over 100 bucks to Apple and create a developer account. Um, so when you kind of log into iTunes Connect, Hit on, hit on the My Apps button, take you to a screen like this. Um, these are uh, apps I've made in the past. And um, so what we're going to do, actually, is go ahead over to uh, create a new one. Plus sign, new iOS app. Yeah, so I'm going to say uh, My First Swift Project. <laughs> choose the language go with English bundle ID I'm just going to grab the wildcard one um, ideally you probably would have created one uh, in um, the developer portal the provisioning profile portal um, this is version 1 now you can kind of see what these things mean by hitting on here um, This could be anything, so let's just say my first two, two, two. Um, uh, the bundle ID has to match what you have in your project. So if you come over here, that is this right here. It never lets you grab that, it kind of pisses me off. Um, but you do have to remember to put that in there exactly as it appears. My first Swift. Project. Did I spell that right? Looks like I did. If you had spaces, you would uh, actually have a hyphen in between them. All right, so I can click Create. All right, so that takes us to this screen here. I'm not going to really do anything else. I'm going to just kind of go right into Game Center. And I'm going to click on Enable for a single game. And we're going to add a leaderboard. Okay. Um, just a single one. And this is, this could be pretty much anything. Um, my Swift game. And we'll say uh, my Swift 376. My Swift. Three three two two three three. Just it's got to be unique, um, and we're gonna do uh, integer. We'll say best score, um, high to low. Don't need a range. Um, it does kind of force you to um, add a language. So we'll pick English. Give it a name. My Swift. App and integer with commas. Um, score and scores. Kind of silly they make you do that though. 
All right, so, so there we go. That is all done. And so I'm going to just hit the, I don't know if you can see it down here, there's a save button. And so this ID right here is the ID that I'm going to put in. Oh, that's what I'm going to put in to my actual project. Go back in here to the file and anywhere where it says leaderboard ID, we're pretty much going to put that in. There another spot. All right, so with that done, we the last thing we need to do is to call this in the view did load. So I'm going to go ahead up to our view did load. Type in self dot authenticate player. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and run this in the emulator. And you see it pops up and asks us to log into Game Center. All right, so I just logged in, and it says welcome back. Um, so I'll start the game to kind of make sure I have a few saved. I'm not keeping track, but I've, I've won a few there. Let that play out. All right, so now I'm going to hit save the high score. It should work, and I'll show Game Center. Pop in here. There you go. Um, I probably won three times, so six cards I won. Uh, I wasn't really keeping track. Um, hit done. And let's see. Let's see if I can win a couple more. All right, so I just won there, just won there. We'll save the high score. There you go. Ten. Perfect. It's working. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. Oh, you know what I did say? I'd show you the... Objective C. So let me show you the Objective C for this. If you if you have a project with Objective C, it's very similar um, the way this functions. It's just that the the code's in Objective C. Um, and I'm going to go over in a future tutorial how to save your high score um, to know if the current score is an actual high score that should be saved, or if it's a because uh, if it's lower than the high score, you don't want to save it. And so that's, you use what's called NS user defaults for saving it locally. It's like a little built-in database. Um, and then these are the uh, methods for, um, here's the authenticate player in Objective-C. Here's the dismiss uh, view controller in Objective-C. Um, and then here's for uh, showing the leaderboards. Again, I'm not going to really go over this. I've, uh, I'll just share the code. For anyone interested in using this in Objective C, um, it's very similar to what I showed you. You're just going to use this code. This uh, saves the reports the score, saves it to there. This shows the leaderboard. Let me see uh, a variable authenticated player, game center enabled, which is the Boolean that I kind of showed you before, the leaderboard identifier. So the same things, same variables that I had in the other one. Um, I know I didn't have a authenticated player, but I but I do here. I, I'll share the code with you though. If you see over here, um, we have the game center con view controller though, uh, game controller delegate. I mean, um, and then uh, let's see anything else in here. Oh, and in the view did load, just as I did before, I have. Um, a call to the login to game center method which authenticates the user right um, and then there's yeah there's the uh, actual um, ID for the uh, the uh, user board right for the uh, leaderboard that I use all right so uh, let me know if you have any questions please uh, please feel free to comment let me know what other tutorials you would like I appreciate it thanks